Hello, I'm Denik Sensei, and welcome to my channel. Okay, let's try to create a poster using Adobe Spark. And I'm going to use Instagram post template for this one. So as you can see on the left side, we have different menus. We have templates available. So you can browse any templates here. These are for premium accounts and some are for free. We have also text. We can add our own text or select from the template. Next, we have also photos. We can upload our own photo or find from photos available for our Adobe Spark. Also, we have Adobe Stock, which you can search and look for the image that you need for your project. We have also photos from libraries, Lightroom. You may also use your photos from Dropbox, Google Photos, and Google Drive. Next, let's have our icons. In here, for example, I search for circle. Let's try to search for a new one. Let's have diamond. So these are the available icons for your project. We have also design assets, which is so useful for our projects. And lastly, we have the backgrounds. So you can search different backgrounds that you need for your project. And now let's start to create a poster. First, you need to have a quote available or any words, sentences that you are going to use. I'm going to recreate my output for ACE level one. Okay, let's try to add some background. I'll be looking for a minimalist background. Click on the image. You can click this option to apply it as background. You can either flip horizontal or flip vertical. You can also modify the filters. You can also modify the enhancements. You can tweak contrast, brightness, saturation, highlight, shadow, warmth, and sharpness. We have also the blur option, but for this one, I'm not going to use this. Next, we are going to add our text. Click on this icon. Add your text. We're gonna move this up and edit the text here. I'm going to copy this first word, quality, or you can also type it. You can resize it by dragging the nodes of the text. You can change the alignment and change the font style. So I'm looking for a bold font which fits our design. You can also modify the shape, add some shadows, or outlines. I'm not going to add effects for this one. You can also apply some curves or magic or grid alignments. You can also modify the letter spacing 
And also, let's try to change the font color. I'll be using this Next, you can duplicate the text by clicking on this icon. And let's change it. With this, I'm going to change the color to white color. And then let's have some shape. Let's mask the text with this color. So I prefer using yellowish gold. Okay, I'm okay with this one. Okay, let's try to duplicate this one. In another one so let's check our code next thing to do is duplicate this text with mask effect and let's try to change it Let's repeat the process until we complete the sentence. Okay, we're done with the text. Let's try to select it all. And move it. The next, let's add some icons. I prefer you seeing circles for this poster. Let me try this one. Just place it on the negative space of the poster, change the color, and let's pick the color of this one, the yellow gold. Hmm, let's try another one. Just add some icons that you want to put in your project. So I'll be adding some more circles to this poster. But I'll be using the same colors present on the text. Let me try to add some triangles.
Hmm, I think let's add some dots for this poster. You can select this portion and click on group. So we can also move this and resize it. Then I'll put a rectangle icon at the bottom of the project. In here, we will be putting our title. So let's add our text. And our title would be My Goal as a Creative Educator. Let's change the font size. And let's place it here. You can also use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move the object. Next, let's add our name. I prefer using gray for this one. Next, let's rotate this using this icon. Just click it and drag. And place it here. I think we're done. Let's download this poster, save it as PNG image, and click on Start Download. In here, let's open it. And this is our output for this tutorial. Let's try to click this button, share. You can either publish it on your social media platforms or create a template or send to your Google Drive. It will generate a link for your social media platform. Let's go back to our home 
and let's check our projects so we have now our project saved here thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you and god bless